It is the 17th of the 12th, 2011, and this is today's climate change update. Uh, I've been asked to uh, comment on the National Defense Authorization Act that's due to be signed by Obama here shortly. I remind you to look back at what happened to Japanese American citizens during World War II, uh, what's going on in Syria, the Middle East, and Persia right now, and um, what might happen to um, American citizens of that descent should World War III come, um, like they are gearing up for. So uh, my guess would be the FEMA camps are for um, American citizens um, on the opposite side of whoever the conflict we decide to choose at the moment. And um, they would fill them very rapidly. Uh, with the truther movement and the Tea Partiers and the uh, Occupy Wall Street people, um, general American Americans who pay taxes and vote and all that. Uh, I don't think the Oath Keepers would allow that to happen. Um, but on the other hand, I think the American uh, Joe Sixpack public would run down to internment camps to get jobs uh, if it came to um, the safety of uh, Middle Eastern and Persian Americans. So that's just my comment on that. You can agree or disagree. Over to Earth Changes, SOP.net. First debris from Japanese earthquake tsunami reaches the West Coast. Uh, an oceanographer answers questions about the island of debris from the March 11th Japan tsunami that are slowly floating toward the Pacific Northwest. Uh, they found a float in the east of Nibe that was believed to be the first identified piece of wreckage to arrive via ocean currents. And it was one of these big black 55-gallon-size um, uh, buoys that washed up. They're saying um, that the debris could get so thick that it might block ports, uh, not to mention the radioactivity. Ah... Uh, I uh, got a mass bird death. Uh, 250 crows die in India um, in the last 48 hours following an undiagnosed disease, and they're taking the animals to uh, test. More bird deaths, dozens of dead birds found in northwest New Mexico. Uh, they're saying this was from, um, they got flushed by a big truck, and uh, they all ran into the side of the truck kind of thing because there was a concentration of birds in a small area. And, of course, the, the thousands of birds that made the crash landing in the Walmart parking lot in Utah. Over to the extinction protocol. On the move, question mark, scientists discover geothermal activity outside the Yellowstone zone. Um, basically, what they're saying is that magma's moving and that might move uh, as far as the steam geysers and the mud volcanoes and all the things that go along with this great big caldera. Um, they want to track it so just in case uh, Old Faithful shuts down one day. Massive power outages reported as storm batters France. Uh, yeah, they, 300. A uh, number of homes without electricity had, had fallen to 330,000 as workers scrabble to restore electricity infrastructure. Uh, the storm is battering Europe right now. They had actually had a cargo ship wash ashore. They had to helicopter the people out. A small oil spill, they're, not, they're saying it's not that major. Uh, 50 tons of diesel and 190 tons of fuel. Uh, tremors decrease at Anna Krakatoa, but volcano is still emitting thick smoke. And it's down to about 1,000 a day. Uh, from a thousand a day down to around 550 so it seems like it's cut down in about half. Seismic sensors in Iceland record 1300 tremors in the month of November. Uh, that's the entire country of Iceland and uh, not just Katla alone. Uh, the Russians authorities seize radioactive material bound for Iran. Now, here we go with the war drums. Apparently they found somebody trying to smuggle sodium-22 and that could only have been tamed as the result of the work of a nuclear reactor. And um, they definitely arrested these people and uh, God knows what they're doing with them right now. And uh, the economy. Rating firm Fitch downsgrades many of the world's top banks. 
so the crooks are calling each other crooks and they're downgrading each other, including Bank of America, Morgan Stanley, Goldman Sachs, as well as, as, well as Europe's Barclays, Societe Generale, the BNP, and Germany's Deutsche Bank, and the Swiss, Switzerland's Credit Suisse were also downgraded. So all the big banks, uh, that's just reaffirming the trouble that we are all in. Montiegro earthquakes rattles nerves and buildings in Dervovnik and Sarajevo in the Bosnia-Herzegovina area. Um, they're saying it felt tremors, but there wasn't any real damage reported. And the war drums, violence worsening as Syria in Syria as country descends into civil war. And the United Nations is already starting to ramp up. Uh, we need to go save these people. Magma plume profuse lava flow from Kilauea. Uh, breaches west <laughs> uh, the western o uh, side of the island ocean entry for the first time in four years and they're having a uh, high magma flows or lava flows from Kilauea and that's about all they have new tonight over to the RSOE uh, Germans um, coming in reports and they're warning their citizens uh, about the oncoming storm that's battering France right now uh, of course, the extreme weather in France. We got flash floods in New Zealand of record proportions. Uh, apparently, a lot of these buildings are built on gravel, and the water's been so profuse it's it's made these foundations unstable. And again, they've had record-breaking flood, and uh, more rain expected. Flash flooding in Malaysia continues. Uh, you know, roads inundated and and just ongoing. They said it wasn't as bad to, or yesterday as it was the day before, uh, but there's still a lot of flooding damage. We have a tropical storm in the Philippines. They're reporting up to 70 deaths. A bunch of people got swept out to sea. Um, storm damage, the works. A uh, big hail storm in Brazil. Uh, severe thunderstorms, crop damage. Extreme weather in Switzerland. Uh, they're warning there's their people uh, watch out for falling trees and uh, they've got a, up to 100 kilometer, kilometer per hour winds uh, coming in and a big winter storm is on its way. Uh, got a forest fire in uh, Corsica, France. More flash flooding in the Philippines, of course. And that's about all they have new tonight. Over to the um, nuclear stuff. Uh, we're just going to do E&E News. Uh, Time Magazine. Some worry that melted Fukushima fuel may reignite. CNN. Spent fuel rods are very damaged. Fire from heat and SPF number four are believed to have damaged reactor building. And they have a video with that. Canadian TV. Japan debris hits British Columbia. Warned about radiation Never seen such a large quantity of debris, says resident, moving much faster than expected, estimated twice as big as Texas, and they're saying some of these debris fields are going to block ports, seaports, major seaports, and that kind of thing. It's going to be a huge mess, and you got to remember this stuff is still radioactive for the most part. LA Times, Fukushima reactors to be encased in concrete. Critics say that its continuing harm is being caused by the plant. And um, even if it hasn't melted through all that, those hundreds of millions of tons of water in the basements of these buildings are seeping out into the ground through cracks in the um, foundations and whatnot. A New York Times expert suspects melted fuel may be threatening groundwater. Battle of epic proportions, says Coyote Code. Concerns over recriticality. And Gunderson uh, via Bloomberg, I actually, I actually think it's going to blow up in their face after declaring cold shutdown while nuclear core is still extraordinarily hot. Yeah, the Japanese government declared uh, Fukushima Daiichi cold. Breaking government officials investigating Fukushima want to know if nuclear explosions destroyed reactors. TEPCO not in a position to comment. And the independent giant concrete diaper to be built under Fukushima plant in effort to stop radioactive substances from leaking into the ground. And uh, 
Japanese paper, absolutely no progress being made at Fukushima plant, says reporter. Japanese media have turned away from this issue. Story is far from over. And with all the plutonium, um, it's just a matter of time. Former Japan Prime Minister hints of recriticality at Fukushima found chloride 38 in reactor number one, water tested at Research Institute. Uh, and it's happening. TEPCO preparing to dump decontaminated water into the ocean. It still has strontium after decontamination, likely plutonium and uranium too. So they're going to start dumping this water uh, into the Pacific Ocean, which is this massive radioactive tea bag that is Japan. Meltdowns were advancing while being kept hidden from public for months. Government very cautious about saying meltdown. And I'm going to finish off with TEPCO. Send us people who don't mind dying. And they have a video attached with that. So, of course, if I missed anything, please let me know. Uh, leave your comments or attach your videos below. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that Dutch Sense has uh, left the building and uh, he's no longer going to be making videos. Good luck to you, Dutch. I know you're still watching. Um, you know, do what you got to do, bro. It's just, you know, we're all there. So, I'm still here. And uh, I'll continue to be here as long as I can. Enjoy what I can, everybody. Thanks for your support.